Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. I'm inspecting a burner and giving the heat exchanger a clean on this ideal Evo Max 150. So first things first, safe isolation, power off and check that you have isolated the correct appliance. Switched off the demand from the BMS. Isolated the gas supply to the appliance. So I've disconnected my condensate. I've disconnected my leads from my gas valve and the one from the top. I've removed my venturi, my air inlet to the gas valves. There's two of them. And I've also removed my flue connections from here and here. I've also removed my nuts. There we are. And right round from the ones at the back as well. Here is my flue. This is where my condensate was connected. And this is my new seal. I'm going to remove my four bolts from my fan assembly connected to my burner. And, and then that should give me enough space to get the unit out from the top. So, so far we have been using 13 millimeter and our eight millimeter connection to remove what we need on this appliance as well as a Phillips screwdriver and a spanner and this is where I am keeping all my nuts bolts and screws so that I don't lose them okay we have removed our gas valve and our fan now check that your gasket is good and replace it if necessary Okay, so the manufacturer recommends using boiling hot water, pouring hot, boiling hot water through the unit in order to clean it. I'm going to use a soft brush as well to aid me in my cleaning. I'm also going to give this fabric here a clean as well, but just with some water. I'm not going to touch um, this part as it's too delicate. Okay, I'm going to change the probes as well. So we've got the electrode detection kit here and the ignition electrode kit. So the detection is 176206 and the ignition electrode kit is 176207. And here we have the old versus the new. And here also we have the old and new detection. Okay, still cleaning away, still cleaning away. Just running the water through, a couple of liters through the condensate. Okay, gonna give it one more rinse. That's the water from the other end. And now I'm gonna clean out the condensate trap just in case it's been bunged up with any muck. Then replenish the water after cleaning it. Okay, 
there gave my mesh a nice clean through as well. Okay, old gasket out, new gasket in. There's two sides to this, so make sure you have the right side facing up. 